Indian financial system is a complex system comprising of both organized as well as the unorganized systems existing together. When I talk about the organized system, I talk about all those financial institutions, financial markets, financial products or services that are properly regulated, that are properly controlled. So what does financial system comprise of? It comprises of the financial regulators, financial institutions, financial markets, products and services, right? So when I talk about financial regulators, I mean RBI, SEBI, NABAD, then there are regulators for our mutual fund sector, for our insurance sector and so on and so forth. So these bodies are there to regulate the overall financial markets, the money market, the capital market, the financial products or the services that are rendered, like you are buying the bonds, you are subscribing to the equities, you are going for other instruments like say mutual funds, buying the insurance products. Okay, all these are properly regulated, they are properly controlled. That's why they form part of the so-called organized system. Then there are different financial services that are offered. Credit rating agencies are there that are providing a credit rating, which is helpful for the investors. Then there are other financial services as well, underwriting services there, discounting facilities there and all such facilities. So because all these financial institutions, markets are actually under the control, they are regulated, there are proper rules, regulations governing them, supervisory measures are there, that's why we call it an organized sector. But if I talk about the unorganized sector, that also exists in India, the, the so-called unorganized financial system. Think of the people in the rural areas, the village areas. Do they rely a lot on taking loans from the banks? Obviously not. They highly rely on the local money lenders over there who offer them the loans but charge really very high rates. People over there often are dependent on their relatives, friends, people in the neighborhood to raise the basic funding for their daily requirements. Okay, so the financial system comprises of both the organized as well as the unorganized system existing together. This coexistence of the organized and the unorganized sector is known as financial dualism. Both types of systems existing together. There are both the pros as well as cons of this very setup. If I talk about the banks, the financial institutions, they are properly governed. There are rules and regulations to protect the investor interest, to protect the interest of all those consumers who are consuming these financial services. But if I talk about why then people in the rural areas or the unbanked regions are highly dependent on the unorganized sector, it's because they are not that very well educated and they think that it's easier to take a loan from a money lender or a nearby uh, or a nearby neighbor or a relative or a friend rather than going to a bank fulfilling all the documentation and the needed requirements so they are willing to give away their basic assets which they have just to obtain a loan from their money lender for issues like child marriage or their uh, medical uh, requirements, medical expenses. Okay, so for all those things, they are highly dependent on the unorganized sector. So what do we need to focus on? This financial dualism will be there. Both organized and unorganized systems are going to exist. So we need to address the governance issues which are there. Like if I talk about the self-help groups, it was a concept uh, basically restricted to the rural areas, village areas where people are coming together, uh, pooling up their money and uh, using that to help each other. Then the banks started linking their programs with the self-help groups. So they are together working in the benefit of the to basically benefit the larger sections of the society. This way, both the organized and unorganized sector need to come up together work together so that they can benefit a larger scale of people out there although these sectors these, these areas the, although these people like the money lenders relatives friends they are not regulated but if we are somehow able to uh, bring them under the umbrella of regulation and supervision enhance transparency governance make sure that they don't engage in wrongdoings with the local people out there not having the knowledge then we will make our financial system really very resilient, strong and emerge as a leading financial system 
all around the world. Thank you.